So you may face this question in your next interview. What is the difference between mutable object and immutable object? So we have an object here. Now, if I want to change the place, right? So let's say I'll change the place to USA. So can I do this obj dot place equals to let's say USA. Now, if I'll print this object, you can see place is USA. To see the original object, let's say this is the original object. Initially it was Varat and now it is USA. Fair enough. Now, this is mutable object. That means you are able to change the value, correct? Okay. Now, if I want to restrict the user, restrict the coder to change the object, what I'll do? So that is immutable object. Okay, so what I'll do here is while creating the object, I'll utilize a simple function dot freeze and I'll put this. Now, let's see, you have got one error, cannot assign to read only property. So this property becomes read only. Okay, if I'll try to add one value to it, is it possible? Let's say I want to add object dot department. So here I want to put, let's say, IT. Now, will it allow it? Let's see. Cannot add property, object is not extensive. So your freeze function is not allowing to change your, your object. It is not allowing you to add your any uh, parameter or any, uh, it is not allowing you to add an attribute. It is not allowing you to add a key. It is not allowing you to add a key as well as it is not allowing to change the value of any key so this is a immutable object so this is how you can make your object immutable so this is the difference between your mutable object and immutable object